Hi everyone, this is Arunredi here. Welcome to my YouTube channel Arunredi Tech for you. And in this video, we are going to learn a topic called Python Dictionary. In Python Dictionary, we are going to learn definition, characteristics, how to create a dictionary, how to access elements from the dictionary, how to add and update elements in dictionary, and how to remove elements from the dictionary. So friends, if you are watching my video first time, and if you want to learn Python, you can go through my channel playlist. In playlist, you can find Python folders where remaining videos are available. And if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos. Coming to our topic, so let us start our topic with the definition. So let us see what is Python and uh, what are the characteristics, how to create, how to access and how to update and how to remove the element from the dictionary. So let us start first. What is a dictionary? Okay, so what is a dictionary? So dictionary are used to store data values in key value pair. Okay, so a, what a dictionary contains means a dictionary will contain key values both. Okay, both pairs. Okay, both pair together. Okay, so each key is separated from uh, its value by colon. Okay, so we use colon to separate the key and value. Okay, so items are separated by comma and the whole thing is enclosed with the curly brackets. So different different items are separated by comma and uh, key and values are separated by colon and the whole thing is enclosed within the curly bracket. So let us see a small example so we can understand easily. You can see here. So I have used see name. Okay. So name is the key. You can see here key and Ajay is a value. So name is a key and Ajay is a value. They both are separated by the colon and you can see there are three items. Okay. So first one is the name Ajay second age seven class first okay so there are three items and they are separated by the comma you can see a comma okay and they are enclosed in the brackets so this is how we can create a dictionary so let us see how what are the characteristics of a dictionary let us see our next topic characteristics of dictionary so dictionary has following characteristics let us see one by one so first a dictionary are used to store data values in key value pairs okay so generally when we create a dictionary you will have two values okay so pair of values they are key and value okay so let us see section one the elements of dictionary can be accessed by key so previously in the tuple and list we used to access by index but here we used to access by help of keys okay so next the dictionary are immu uh, sorry mutable that means we can change we can add or remove the elements okay Next, a dictionary can store data, different data type. Means we can store integer, float or different. Okay. A dictionary not allow duplicate. Means a key value should not be duplicate. Okay. So, so key should not be duplicate. Values, if it is duplicate, it's okay. But key should not be duplicate. Next one, the value of dictionary can be any type. Okay. So, but the key must be any immutable data type such as string, number or tuple. Okay. So, what do you mean by that means? So the dictionary in dictionary value can be any type okay any data type it's okay but the key should be immutable data type such as string number or tuple so let us see once again the all the characteristics first one it should contain key and value in a pair form okay second it can be accessed by key third it is mutable means we can add and remove fourth it can store different data types so different data types can be stored Next, it will not allow duplicate, means key should not be duplicate. Okay, the dictionary uh, value can be any type, but the key must be immutable data type like a string, number or character. Nice. Now, let us see how to create a dictionary, how we can create a dictionary. Okay. So, first, to create a dictionary, we have a, first of all, we will play sequence of elements. Okay. So, within a curly braces. So, curly braces we used to write and uh, it is separated by comma. Okay. How these elements will be? Elements again, dictionary hold pairs of values. Okay. So how they are? One is a key, another one is a corresponding pair element. That means value. Okay. So one is a key and another one is a value. That is corresponding pair element. Okay. So let us see how we can, how many types we can create a dictionary. So I have taken four examples. So to show how different I can create a dictionary. One, empty dictionary. Okay. We can create an empty dictionary. Second, dictionary with integer key values you can see here first one is the key right so here one here two okay so these two are integers right so i have created a um, dictionary which contains integer value so third example i have taken mixed keys okay so you can see here first one is the name 
second one is a integer one one is a integer right so first one name is a string second one is a one integer so mixed so same way we can also use a built-in function remember there is a built-in function called dict okay with the help of dict also we can create a dictionary for example d is equal to dict and in the bracket i will use again same brackets in the brackets again pair of element with the colon and separated by the comma okay so like this we can create in a different ways so let us move to the next one how to access the elements okay so accessing element from the dictionary okay so while index is used in the other data type to access elements a dictionary use key okay so in the others we used to access the element by using index by but in the dictionary we access the element by using key okay again by key we again we use two methods one is the square bracket method another one is the get okay so we can create uh, sorry we can access element by using square bracket second one is the get method so let us see examples okay see here if i say d is equal to name ajay age is equal to 26 okay age is 26 uh, here name is a key and ajay is a value age is a key and uh, 26 the value and uh, i have separated both the element with the comma and enclose with the flower brackets okay flower brackets that means uh, curly brackets but when you are accessing elements what you have to say print d name okay d in the bracket c i have used now i am using square brackets okay so you will get output ajay same i can also do by using get method okay so what i also say d dot get name okay this time i have used uh, uh, round brackets okay so I, again i got the same output okay either you can use square brackets or you can also use get method so both the ways we can access the elements so let us see a small example for the creating and accessing elements now we are in the python program so let us see how differently we can create and how to access the elements so i'll say d equals to okay so d equals to i can use a square bracket okay sorry i will use uh, what you'll say curly brackets okay so here i will say name okay so first one is a name okay name name colon ajay i will use ajay okay so see i have separated the key and value by using colon okay right so if i keep comma i'm done with the one element next element age for example i will take age okay so whenever you are taking the characteristics try to take in the colon okay right so next to age 27 so i am typing uh, 26 let us assume 26 so i am typing the values so that's why i didn't take the sorry integer value so i didn't take any quotations okay right okay let us take another uh, one also okay this time i will take as a uh, roll number let us assume he is a student i will take roll number roll number okay again i have to use the quotations right Okay, roll number right so one zero one right so i'll just close the bracket enter right now i have created a dictionary okay now i have created a dictionary so now this is one way okay suppose if you want to create empty uh, dictionary right so you can say simply e is equal to bracket close bracket enter okay you may have a doubt I have taken curly brackets in the set also we use curly brackets so what will be the e e will be the uh, set or it will be the dictionary so to test this we'll just go for a type e see what it is showing dic that means dictionary okay you can also create in another way for example i will take f is equal to by using built-in function there is a function called built-in function called dic okay so you type dic open bracket and uh, here i will take elements with a flower bracket i will just say one i will take only one element one colon okay so ajay i will just take the same name ajay in the quotation close bracket close main bracket enter right so now if i say f see what it is printing and if i check which type of data type it is f so let us see see it is showing again dictionary so this is how we can create different ways of uh, creating a dictionary this is how different ways of creating a dictionary now let us access the elements for example now you can see i have already created a uh, dictionary called d 
okay now i want to access elements from the dictionary okay for example i want to know the name okay so what i will say d so when you are accessing you use square brackets remember okay so in that name name close bracket enter see i got the name as ajay same way i can also use get method so let us see i will say d dot get open bracket okay again name right see ajay nice right so this is how we can create and access the elements so let us go back to our topic now coming back to our topic let us see how we can change and add dictionary elements okay so changing is nothing but updating right so to change and add elements we use assignment operator so let us see how we can use assignment operator and we can change or add an element suppose if you have already a key and you want to update okay so let us see a small example suppose if you uh, if the key is already present that means i want to update the same key right with a different value okay so now i will say d is equal to already i have created a d is equal to name ajay age 26 now i want to update this 26 as a 27 so what i will do i will say d age is equal to 27 see we are using assignment operator okay assignment operator nothing but a equal to symbol okay so if i say equal to 27 and if i print d now you can see automatically it is updated suppose if you want to add new element okay so if key is not already exist new element means when key is not already exist updating means if key already exists okay so if key doesn't exist in case the key is not present that means when you are adding a new element okay so what you will do suppose i want to add a address in the already dic d dictionary is there right in this i want to add a new uh, element called address is equal to hyderabad so what i will do d address is equal to hyderabad so automatically if i print d now again what will be the uh, what will be the result address hyderabad age 27 name ajay so this is how you can easily update and add elements so let us see a small example now we are back to the python so let us see a small example so again i will take a small uh, d is equal to i'll just add name name ajay okay right okay sorry i forgot to take the quotations okay so whenever you are using a character don't forget to take the quotations name okay right name ajay comma okay age 26 okay age 26 again i forgot to take the quotation okay right age 26 now i have created a d dictionary nice so if i say d see now i want to update this 26 sorry 26 as 27 okay so how can i do it we use assignment operator so let us see so i'll say first name okay again whenever you are modifying you use uh, square brackets okay right is equal to so name so not name it's a age right so i want to change age age is equal to 27 enter so let us press d c nice so it got updated right so suppose if you want to add a new element for example address okay so i will just want to add address so again square brackets in the quotation add i will make it as a short okay addr address okay so close bracket is equal to now i'll take quotations in the quotations hyd hyderabad okay right enter so let us check d c now we can see there are a new element added in the d okay so this is how we can easily update or add a new element okay so let us move to the topic now let us see how to remove element from the dictionary okay there are different methods there are totally four methods to remove elements one is a pop pop item del clear so let us see one by one so first pop okay so pop method what we'll do we'll just mention the key value okay for example i have created a one is equal to ajay two ravi three raj four any okay now i want to remove raj that is 
key value is 3. So if I say d dot pop 3 automatically the uh, see 3 raj will be deleted and you can see output how it is coming there is no raj okay that means third third three key and a raj value both are deleted so this is how it will remove the uh, element by using key okay so it will uh, remove the element by using key right same way we have another method called del okay del will also remove the individual elements okay so but the difference between a pop and del is so when you are uh, using pop you will use a curly brackets and you will say three okay both will remove by using the single element okay but del will also remove whole dictionary for example if i want to remove single element i can use pop right but del can be used both to remove individual element and if you want to remove entire uh, entire d dictionary also you can remove okay so suppose if you say del d all the elements from the dictionary will d dictionary will be removed okay suppose if you specify any key then it will remove only particular key now i what i will do i will say del d2 okay so 2 is there right so it will remove the 2 ravi and you can see the output this is the output so now pop has removed third key and uh, del has removed second key okay so with the help of del we can use remove individual amount uh, sorry individual element or we can also remove whole dictionary okay same way we have pop item okay so in pop item we doesn't specify any key okay pop item what it will do it will remove the next uh, last element okay for example if you can see here one ajay is there four ani is there so it will remove the last element okay so you can see here if i say d dot pop item it will show which element it is see this is not the remaining uh, output it is the element which is removed okay it will show the amount which is removed don't get confused these two are the outputs okay this one it will show whenever you say d dot pop item it will show the element which it is removed okay which is removed right so ne next there is another uh, called clear okay so clear also will help us to remove the elements just say d dot clear all the elements from the dictionary will be removed so let us see example one by one now we are back to the python program so already there is a table you can see here sorry already there is a dictionary i have created okay now for example if i want to remove age if i want to remove age okay so what i will do i will say d dot first one we will use pop okay so in the pop i will mention age okay so i'll just say age enter see what it has removed it has removed age 27 okay so if i say d see age is not there now okay same way i can also use del so d dot sorry del we will write del space okay so which one you want to remove d again square bracket we have to use so for example i want to remove name okay i want to remove name so i'll say name enter so let me check d right so now i have only one okay so i have only one so what i will do i'll just add one element and uh, then i will show you how to remove okay so i'll just add some elements so i'll say again i add a name okay name okay right and uh, is equal to like uh, ravi okay some name i will take ravi right okay now let us see d right now let us see how we can delete element by using pop item okay so d dot pop item open close bracket enter see what it has done it doesn't remove the first element it has removed the last element okay so ravi and it is showing what which element it has removed okay suppose if i say d enter see what it is showing it has only again one element the next last element which has added is removed right now if i say d dot clear you will have a only empty set because it will remove all the elements from the dictionary right see if i say d see you have a only a empty set so this is how we can remove element by using pop pop item delete sorry del and clear okay del can remove individual elements or 
whole dictionary right clear will remove whole dictionary pop item will remove an last element and uh, pop will remove an element which suppose if you give any key particular individual element will be removed right so friends keep practicing thank you